British people have made immense sacrifices in the ongoing battle against COVID-19. I now fear that my comments in the leaked video of the 20th of December last year have become a distraction in that fight. My remarks seemed to make light of the rules. Rules that people were doing everything to obey. That was never my intention. I will regret those remarks for the rest of my days and I offer my profound apologies to all of you at home for them. Working... Yet just listen to how the health secretary was heckled by some Tory MPs tonight. Including... As he outlined the tighter rules, one even called out, resign. Does this sound like a party happy about what they're being asked to do? Why should people at home, listening to the Prime Minister and the Secretary of State, do things that people working in Number 10 Downing Street are not prepared to do? The Prime Minister may be pushing the button on Plan B to cope with the pandemic, but this Christmas, Boris Johnson may need a Plan B for his leadership too. And it is, isn't it, a matter of trust and integrity uh, at the end of the day. Well, let's join uh, Laura now live at Westminster. Laura, you said very clearly there it was a dangerous moment for Downing Street. And it is, isn't it, a matter of trust and integrity uh, at the end of the day. Where does Boris Johnson uh, stand tonight, do you think? Well, I think in a very tricky spot, Hugh. 